everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Emergency Call 112, the Firefighter Simulator 2. Okay, so yesterday we did the tutorial. It did bug out. Uh, I will be honest, I tried to record this episode twice and we bugged out, uh, unfortunately. Uh, there does seem to be a few issues. We are due an update. Uh, but overall, the game's actually a pretty fun game. If they can just iron out a few little bits and pieces, it's going to be a real good game. So what we're going to do today is look at the single player. We're going to try and do some missions of some sort, uh, see how that kind of plays out. I do want to bring multiplayer to the channel again. Come follow us on the Discord, uh, Twitter, come tweet me, and uh, we'll try and arrange a group of us to do a multiplayer. Um, there are a few other things that I still haven't been able to work out, like buttons, but, you know, it doesn't seem to show anything in the settings, but I can't change cameras, which is a bit annoying. Um, again, like I said, they did say there will be a big update this weekend, so fingers crossed. Okay, let's get straight into the single player. Okay, day one. Now, I wish also it would be a little bit more clearer with some things. But anyways, let's uh, let's move on. Let's attend the morning meeting. First thing in the morning, 7 o'clock roll call. Here they are. Here's the troops. First, I would like to welcome the newcomers. Take care of yourselves. Stick to the old hands. Please do not take unnecessary risks. Otherwise, I wish you a good time at one of the most beautiful and modern fire stations in Germany. It is a pretty big fire station. This is huge. And remember to write your mission reports. I don't want to repeat this every morning. No. Thank you for your attention. Now take over the emergency vehicles. Okay, what's going to happen here now is they're all going to split up to uh, bring out some of their vehicles to do their morning checks. Now, morning checks are very important. You know, just like here as bus drivers, you know, the first driver... We'll always do a walk around check, make sure, you know, lights and safety things. And it's the same here, I suppose. Now, the big thing here is if the, a firefighter probably didn't do his morning check properly and, uh, you know, you turned up to a scene and you didn't have a piece of equipment or the water was low and you and you risked lives, you know, I think there's going to be some serious consequences for you. But here you go, they're all going to start getting out. Now, it's going to happen again, isn't it? This guy here bugged out everything earlier and I couldn't change to him. So hopefully he's not going to do the same. He was standing in the way. Hopefully they just drive over him. They, they all come, they're all rolling out. Is the last truck not coming? Is that what his job is? Not entirely sure what's going on. <clears throat> okay, so wants us to check his lights for him. We're just going to respond by pressing number one, making sure all the lights are working, which they are. Okay, lights are looking good, mate. So that guy's kind of unfrozen himself now. Uh, but the last truck never came out. Is there a guy in the other seat? No. Okay, what we'll do, we'll just see will this complete without us having to do anything. Yeah, look, it's all pretty cool. They're going to be checking all their equipment. Uh, this one does take a while because the crane's going to go all the way up and down. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, so basically we're waiting for a mission to appear. Uh, okay, so these all kind of, you know, get ready to deploy. They will deploy themselves. There was a few things that I didn't understand, but now I think I've got the grips with. Uh, so like, you know, if there is an emergency, these guys might automatically just go and then we'll have to take over at the fire scene, um, which is okay. Okay, um, not sure why the last truck didn't come, but not much I can do about it. So hopefully, once they finish these checks, uh, I'll be back to you, and hopefully with an emergency. Okay, we finally have an emergency. It is taking 37 minutes. Um, I don't know what it is. It's all in German, uh, but it wants us to take this clothing, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, looks like we are going to be some sort of paramedic. And off we go to our very first emergency. So yeah, a little slow there, guys. 
it is what it is. Um, the guy was bugged in the middle. Uh, I managed to get hold of being able to control him and move him out of the way. Okay, hang on. We're, we're in an emergency there, and I'm jibber-jabbering. So Hans here is going to drive us to the emergency site. Uh, I'm not sure what the emergency was, obviously being in uh, German. I wonder what they make in English translation. I really wish they would do something, just to make it a little bit clearer to us. Okay, we are an emergency, but Hans clearly doesn't know how to drive a manual. Okay, <laughs> he's getting there, he's getting there. Come on, come on, I would have driven. I don't know why he didn't ask me to drive, actually. Oh, boy. It looks like we're the only ones going to whatever we're going to. Okay. Not quite sure where we're going. We're going quite a while away. Uh, looks like there's some more emergency services coming, whatever it is. Hans is still stuck in first gear. We should have got him in an automatic. Okay, we're here at the site. The police are already here. Okay, we can organize the mission. So let's organize the place where let's dismount this. Apparently I'm the driver now, that's alright. We'll get them out. Okay. This person is obviously clearly trapped. Let's talk to the police officer. Hello, what happened here? We have two people involved in the accident. The driver, male, 34 years old, is outwardly uninjured but is in shock okay that's fine the passenger 28 is still in the vehicle he complains of chest pains I wonder did something happen to him okay Okay, uh, we're going to talk to the other man here. Oh god. Okay, you're not very bloody helpful. The door is stuck, it will not be easy to open it. We've got a whole crew here to try and open it for you. Okay, so what we want these to do then, organized place of work. Uh, okay, we don't want to do that. It's a traffic accident. Equipment storage. Okay, so they should now start bringing out what we need. And uh, they're all going to get to work now to get out pretty much everything. Uh, traffic accident here, I don't think there's much we can do. Uh, I think we're okay for the moment. We do have an ambulance back here. Uh, and they're going to need to Dismount these guys. I feel like I need this ambulance to get down here a bit more. Okay, which one are you? You the NEF.
apparently they want to park here. That just seems so bloody odd, but anyways. Okay. Now that I've fixed them, let's go to the NEF. No, the RTW. Okay, traffic accident. You're not going to do too much. Organize a place of work. Let's dismount you guys. And uh, let's go back to... Oh no. At the site. Okay. I'm probably going to need some sort of jaws of life here. Hydraulic spreaders, hydraulic cutters. Okay, let's uh, maybe pick these guys up first, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if I can use them here. No, not what we can do yet. Okay, let's go back to the TFL. All right. LF, here we go. Traffic accident, secure the vehicle. Okay, so this is one scary scene. Okay, looks like they're going to free the person out of the car now. Okay, calm down, try to breathe. My colleagues now open the vehicle so you can get you out of here. Yes, come on, come out, get out with me. Maybe I need to bring the stretcher a bit closer. Pull me a hero. It looks a bit worse for wear, to be fair. Get a nice screenshot of this accident, as it is our first accident. Okay, I assume that we just slide you in. Oh, oh how cool that is.
Okay, we're just trying to find out. Find out what we can do here. I don't think there's much else. Okay, the EMTs are packing him away now. Okay, that's good. So if I organize a place of work. I don't think we need fire protection. There doesn't seem to be any fire. Okay, they're now off. They can now depart. And again, these guys need to depart as well. And that's what they're doing. Okay, so that is the end of our first uh, fire. Well, not really a fire, but our first. Our first uh, request. As we're now moving to the fire station, I won't drag you into all this drive. Um, hopefully, I will see you at the next mission. If you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. I love that for myself, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next response. Bye for now.